And tonight, four people are dead after what police are calling a murder-suicide. It happened on a quiet street in Wyoming. Police gave an update about the situation just a few hours ago. Michael Martin joining us live from outside the police department with the latest. Michael? Janice, Josh, two young girls and their mother, as well as the man that police believe is responsible for their deaths, are now gone. It happened all inside this house just behind me here in Wyoming. Investigators saying this was a domestic incident, violent turned deadly. Now those the other issue here, though, is that there were more victims. There were three other children inside that house when this all happened who were left physically unharmed. Police saying they are now in the custody of a trusted family member. No one, especially children, should ever feel unsafe in their home. A violent triple murder early Tuesday morning has disturbed a typically calm street in Wyoming. This is three square. Lots of families. Yeah. Police showing up to this house on Godfrey Avenue around 4 a.m. after being contacted by a family member of the suspect. And this is a devastating example of domestic violence and our officers work uh, tirelessly every day to try to reduce this type of crime in our community. Investigators say two girls, 11 and 13, killed along with their mother by her boyfriend, who then turned a handgun on himself. The girls were from a previous relationship. The motive for this incident remains unclear at this time. Still inside the home were three other kids, a five-year-old and a two-year-old, children shared by the male suspect, an adult female victim, and a nine-year-old, though police are still working to establish who his parents are. Yeah, yeah, I, see, I, see, I see the kid outside, but the man I never see. The surviving children now in the custody of a family member. Police say they are treading carefully as they move forward with their investigation. And we have uh, obviously taken great care in our questioning of, of these young people, uh, these children. So, uh, yeah, we have been in contact with them and just uh, our hearts just are breaking for these kids. Chief Coster says this marks six people killed this year as a result of domestic situations in Wyoming. So I would, you know, just ask uh, the public to uh, understand that, the, you know, this is a, a crime that um, affects lives in just uh, un unimaginable ways. And so if you do know somebody that's involved in a relationship like this, maybe you make the first move and uh, talk to them. Now, we don't know the names of the victims or the suspect in this incident at this time. Police have yet to release that info. They say they are still working to inform family members of everything that happened here. What we do know about the suspect, the man that we mentioned in that story there, we know that he does not have an extensive criminal background. We asked the police chief, does he have a history of domestic violence arrests? He doesn't, and they don't have any history of calls to this home whatsoever regarding domestic violence or anything else. He said his criminal background only contains something from all the way back in 2003. That was an arrest for operating while intoxicated. Of course, we'll learn more once those identities are released. For now, live in Wyoming, Michael Martin, Fox 17 News.